Hello, hello, all. The stream is starting. How are all my loyal viewers? And, and disloyal ones, too. I like you as well. Hello, Ellis the Fish. Thank you for your follow offline. And no, it was not 10 minutes. It was about 9 minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> You'll have to try better next time. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, everyone. So we're back in Path of Exile. <laughs> That's good. I, I like my viewers alive. So, since last time, we level up to 97 and we're on our way to 98. I have also made a few changes and in the process exhausted my bank completely. I had, I think, 105 chaos last time and now I have one. Or 105 divine, now I have one. <laughs> And so the culprit for that is right here. Got myself a mage blood. Oh god, 90, 96 divine. That was very expensive. I worked with that and I redid all of my flasks. So I now have increased effect, quicksilver, sulfur, jade, and quartz. So permaphasing, permaphasing, uh, Perma evasion buffs, perma damage buffs, perma movement speed buffs, curse immunity, vastly increased evasion rating, uh, nearly 30% of damage taken as hit leech from life, and we have a bunch of extra resistance. That's going to cover a lot of things. Plus, we've also taken in two new gems. I've cut the Vol Blade Vortex with Culling Strike support because I'm honestly haven't been using it. And now I have a Vol Grace and a Vol Rejuvenation Totem. So that I can just pop those whenever I need them. I don't know how important the... Uh... I don't actually know how valuable the Vol Rejuvenation Totem is going to be, but we'll see. And I have a separate Vol Grace from my uh, Grace up here, just because this one's level 20. And I didn't want to lose the Evasion rating just to get access to Vol Grace. I will eventually replace this with a Vol Grace 2120, but that's going to take some time. Just because they're about 9 div apiece, and I am next to broke. But that's okay, we can solve that this stream. That's the main difference, I think. Yeah, this is the uh, chase item belt in the game, so... I... I can't, still can't believe that this league, I have both a Mage Blood and a Headhunter. That is such a such a big deal. And I realize that Headhunters aren't very expensive. This league, they are they're eight div, but usually they're like seventy or eighty div. And Mage Blood's usually somewhere between ninety and one hundred and fifty. So. It's a lot. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever have both of them in the same league. I never thought I'd use Headhunter long enough that I am actually got bored of it. That's a very weird feeling. Okay, so we are going here with uh, the Hades soundtrack, currently Scourge of the Furies. Very, very good soundtrack. I am have a master mix of all the Supergiant Games soundtracks together between... Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, and Hades 1. And we're going to be listening to that. So we're going to jump into a map in a moment and move forwards. We currently have a uh, Maven's Invitation waiting for us, just a basic uh, 10 boss one, and we have a safe house for us. Which we're going to hit immediately. The goal of this stream is to go from 97 to 98. Oh, and I should have the everything on first. That helps. So anything I can do to make that a reality, I am going to do it. 
I also have uh, my Omens Amel Amelioration to prevent XP loss and death. So ideally that will keep me safe. We are going to see again if uh, today we can get to Katarina once more. See if she will sugar mommy for us again and give us another Veiled Orb. Because that would... I mean... <laughs> that would allow me to, in one shot, replace my uh, Grace Aura, so that'd be nice. She has so far given us the majority of our money this league, and I could not possibly be happier. I think we had got 70 divine from uh 70 divine across all of our uh, veiled orbs this league from her. And to put that into perspective, that is, at 150 Chaos to Divine, that is roughly 10,000 Chaos, which is the standard currency of the game. For anyone who's not familiar, actually familiar with Path. That is a lot of money. The fact that she is just so... I don't know why she's dropped so many Veiled Orbs for us this league. It feels, like, extremely unnatural. Okay, let's try this totem. It gives us nearly a thousand re- How much does it do? It gives us 750 uh, life regenerate per second, and it takes 40% of damage from hits to me from its own life. Which is pretty fucking awesome. Plus, it's got a 6500 life, uh, max life itself, which is pretty crazy as a base life for a totem. Okay, so we'll get 48 mastermind experience total here. And our, after one more map, we'll tick the board three more times and get our research safe house. We'll be able to run immediately after for a level three, which will give us another 48. And all we have to do is hit one of these at any level. This is Vagans Veiled. That's... Vagan does uh, hits can't be evaded. So I will... Grab that one. His Veiled are actually chase items. Oh. Every time I listen to these soundtracks, I want to play the games on. This is from Trans Transistor specifically, which is. So I currently have uh, plus six to shrines here, plus three more, so plus nine to shrines, plus one for my, uh, my passatry. So I have. And I average about 10 shrines per map, and I have 30% increased XP gain buff from shrine effects, and I get two shrine buffs per shrine I activate. So I can get a huge XP boost on this. We're at 77, and hopefully we do not drop below that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Drop times are rare to convert to divination cards. Oh boy, okay, uh, oh man, I'm gonna have to do something with that. Hey, Ron. It sucks that this is a more pack size one, because I'm going to erase the more pack size with this. Replace it with a rogue exile. Actually, wait, we can't do this yet. 
move this over. Wait, actually, I don't know if the extra exiles from the map device actually matter. I'm going to go with Domination instead, for sure. So, put that up there for the most common uh, most common creature being the Rogue Exile. Modifier tier. Oh, because the max... Swap these because I don't do physical damage. Better to have the corpse and all flame buffs. Okay, so we're gonna swap this to something else. We'll pick some gemlings in and rare items drops. That would be ideal for yeah. Either Broken Circle, Dark Scythe, or Black Black Scythe. Uh, the the four different expedition ones should have some benefit from rarity if they drop uh, expedition, aka ward base items. To get a buff there. Okay. Okay, I have to be super, super, super careful here, because Exiles can hit like a truck, and I need to not die in this map. I... I have too... I have too much XP to be taking risks. Nope. No risks this time. I'm gonna treat, gonna treat this like a tier 17. This is a 16 reference. It always amazes me the, the difference between a 16 and a 17. Though that's entirely based on the modifier or the monsters that spawn. Okay. The shrine buff. Oh. That's not amazing. Okay, we're going to check. We're going to swap our in a second because it's blocking a lot of stuff. I'm gonna burn through this buff first. There's an XL down there. Polius. Oh we got a patient wait. Oh wait. <laughs> God damn it! I'm so used to the normal price of headhunters that I'm like, we got a patient or a nurse? Oh my gosh! We can use it to get a doctor's, which you can use to get a headhunter. You know that thing that's not valuable this league. <laughs> uh. Julius. Uh. Oh, mm, is that dangerous? No, it's not dangerous because we have a bunch of extra chaos. I think we're sitting at 98% chaos res right now. No. No, that's not right. Try it again. I think we're sitting at 79% chaos res right now. Not 97. A big difference. 79, 76 right now. Okay, so we're capped. Did we did we get another open? Yes, we did. Yes, and it revives everything. Give us a third. Give us a third. Give us a third. Give us a third. Damn it! That was pretty good. Okay, now let's see what the what's actually happening. Ah, yes, that's a bit more what I expected. Okay, we're gonna go swap to end game. Game. I can see a bit more. Uh, 
I will wait till the fire is not there. We've got an Agnarod. Collecting the Agnarods north, south, east, and west is actually like a pretty effective way to make money. Because they're only worth like up to like one to three C a piece. And the map self, I think, for 33C. So actually assembling them is worth good money. Especially if you get the Agnarods yourself. But you can buy them and assemble them for just as, just as much money, really. Nope! Damn it! Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I got complacent. Uh, okay, we're at 76% XP. <laughs> and that, that, then that now lends us to the question, do we go back into this map? Because I won't have no one to protect me anymore now. And it's another east, damn it. Any of those. Gonna the affinity off the div cards dash, dash tab. Gonna pile them all in here. So you can get a visual representation of what this map gives. Okay, so we are going back into the map. We have to be really, really have to be careful because we have so much XP, and if we lose this, there is not a lot of money that I, I would need a lot of money to make up for the loss. Let's put it that way. So I need to treat this like super, super serious, or I am in danger. Okay. Well, the dangerous thing about put, putting exiles on everything is the fact that exiles on their own are already dangerous. Fuck anarchy. A scary league. Oh. Damn druid. Have to be really careful of them. Nope. I saw I saw a couple a couple exiles use Leap Lamb. No, thank you. Not slamming me. Okay. Let's go. Take a slightly buffed boss. I have way more than enough damage to tank that. That survivability increase. Let's be careful here. The Vol Grace. Have it. Good use of it. Oh, a Dab of Ink. Nice. Would have expected a Dab of Ink to be a bit more. Are Poet's Pens not valuable? Not really. The looks of it.
Ooh. The the quantity shrine. No, oh, get away from me. No. No. Okay. Should I take this? Yeah. The boss now hinders. I, I'm not too concerned about that. Technically, the other option would have been a better choice, and if I hadn't already died in this map and was trying to level, I would have picked it instead. But I... Want to be more careful. Make money. It's treasure and a vision. Visions are worth between 60. Say this league like they exist in any other league. Hey, there's a drill there. I think if I got a skeleton, I got a skeleton shrine, so skeletons are distracting things. Oh, man. Picking up a lot. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me too. Need to be careful not to hit while I'm being distracted. Okay. And. Vision. 25C. Okay. I'm super nervous because it's really hard to level up at this point in the leveling process. I mean, we're... Two and a quarter levels from max. And the penalties are severe at this point. Oh, imperfect memories. I don't recognize that one. Oh, what was that? Synthesize triple implicit item level 100 juice. Okay, yeah, I see why that's valuable. I could play this a bit more fast and loose, but I'm absolutely not. It's not worth risking. Not worth risking as much XP as I have. Fifty percent, or yeah, about fifty percent of the XP, or sorry, fifty percent of a level here, maybe sixty percent. It was six div for me, buying it for an XP service. I decided to end my organic leveling at ninety six this league. For anyone who's not familiar with what an XP service it is, uh, there are people who specifically have set themselves up to work to do specific maps very well. In uh, the case of most XP services, it is the domain of domain of eternal con eh. endless domain of eternal conflict. Can't remember the name right now for some. 
Anyways, uh, you pay the- you trade them in-game money, and, uh, they run you through it. I just realized the other day that people who don't know what it is might think I'm, like, buying XP from people. Like, one of those shady XP services? No. No, 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 no. No, I'm just getting... ...carried by someone who has a... Good bit or a bill that is specifically designed to do one particular thing. Okay. Also, I have a divine shrine right now, so I'm invincible. Twelve seconds. Twelve more seconds. Backing up. Okay. Divine shrine is over. But we have beasts. Where's Einhar? Mostly he's here. Oh god, what is that? Why is there something on the ground just expelling flames? What? What is that? What? It has the Exarch symbol on it. Okay. I'm gonna be no, no. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. That was a possessed exile. Oh, the the possessed ones are scary. I have them set up to be possessed because it gives like a lot of extra content. Pretty, but oh boy, are they not something to mess with lightly. Though, I don't think the naturally spawning ones get possessed, despite the uh, things I have set up that'll make, it's supposed to make them do so. So it might actually be worth it for me to remove that from my passive tree. Not sure. Yeah, because there was just one there, and it wasn't possessed. You ever want to move too, too fast into anything? Well, I have a accelerator shrine. Like, into that, for example. Where'd it go? Up there? Did I kill it? Nope, it's right there. Ooh. Let's try and pick. Okay. Maps complete. Are you kidding me? Got 1% XP from that. No, we lost 2.5%. So we got about 3.5% from that, that one map. Oh god, that's painful. That's not a lot of... Any empty... Really? Okay. Incubator stash. These are also from doing five ways, because the five ways have a tendency to drop a ton of incubators, and usually the instance owners don't pick them up. Probably because they have, like, 
thousands. Okay, so this is what we got from... These are all the div cards that we got from doing this. Okay, so we have... Let's see, what is actually value? Photographer's chisel. Mercenary could uh, pump fire. Ains treasures deep. Little hope. Got a patient. Got a chaotic disposition. Got the imperfect memory. It's a really valuable one. Emperor's luck. Amaria's cut. Got a dab of ink, which is sometimes valuable. Not so much. Oh, we got Mind's Eye and The Hunger. Both of those usually. Okay, what's the Mind's Eye worth? Not much. What's the Hunger worth? An amount? Maybe if you see, I don't know. Okay, so let's pump some of these into our divination card dash tab. Then we will look at what we are, what we actually end up with from turning all this stuff in. Or at least the stuff that uh, we are going to turn in. Some of it we will sell. I'm going to take the voids that I have and put them separate. Okay, what do we have? For Hope, Emperor's Luck, Jack Fox, Last Hope, Battle of Bull. One of one with all penitent risk the union. For things that are actually valuable. Uh, from this map, it would mainly be these four. The imperfect Memories, the Patient, the Chaotic Disposition, and the Three Faces in the deck. There's eight Chaos there. Patient's probably not worth anything this league. No, it's only worth, like, 2C. Uh, imperfect Memories worth a bit more. Oh, yeah, they are worth a Divine apiece. So this, this one card is worth a bit more. Okay. That went well. Okay, time to turn stuff in. Trail scare. Horsemen. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, five chaos from Emperor's Luck. Essence. Um Oh we both we both got increased uh we got two increases on quant and rare. Max roll or max life basically min rolled. Fire is good, cold is bad, lightning is bad. 
Okay. What is... What is 3 quant and 21 parity? Maybe 4C. We'll see if we can corrupt that into anything. Entropy. Portal Hope, which is worth 12C, so that's actually valuable. This I can... Other Ventors! What? It... Wait, what? This Ventor is rolled without Quant. How is that possible? Oh! It might have rolled zero Quant. So it erased the modifier. Wow, I've never seen that before. Oh. Wow, okay, that's that's actually really weird. Okay. I'm glad you're liking the music. This is currently To the Stars from the Pyre soundtrack. Okay. This will become a lot worth a lot more if I get a corruption on it. Corrupt. Nope. That was just straight up destruction. Uh, White Socket? Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are going to turn in the voids that I have. These can be worth absolutely nothing or something. Why, why did I put it in the crafting table? <laughs> what am I doing with myself? Okay. An all physical spell gem. I wish that wasn't on a gold amulet. Wish that wasn't item level 79. Uh, that's a decision. Oh, I don't. I don't know if that's worth anything. I'll be honest. Three chaos. That was probably a three faces in the dark. Twenty percent blade flirt. What gives you a level 1 20% quality uncorrupted gem? I can't think of anything. Fortunately, it's Blade Flurry. Oh, four Azure Oils. Those are worth about 1.1... 1 .1... Nope, they're about 0.9 of a C apiece. Or 1C. Okay, so it's about 10C total. And we got Punishing Thicket Map, which is the Punisher. That gift card stack. Okay. We need to keep pushing maps. I just realized we didn't get June in that last month. Oh right, because we're on we were on um our oops all exiles passive tree. Pop that back. Uh let's pick park. Park is easy. Red grounds and Okay, domination. Okay. Can I? 
No, that doesn't get low. I'll tank the plot damage. What can I boost? Okay, I can get a noble haunt. That. I'll do that. Okay, none of these are really... No, 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 no. I should not do a wild wood in. I, I don't hate myself that much. I only hate myself a little bit. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't want to do sulfite golems, because those things are terrifying. I'll just do this. With more rarity, they might drop some more jewels. Okay, so we're at 78%. We have our Omen of Amelioration go. Go back to Uber Endgame so we don't get bothered by much. I should be a lot safer in a map that's not full of rogue exiles. No gemlings or anything like that, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hey, right, Gravekeeper's active. Dimension. All right, curls down. We have for us, Mr. Paint Shop. That's not who we need to see. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter which, what things we get this time. All we need to do is is advance the board. AKA complete syndicate events and safe house comes up. While June is off torturing a man. Oh my god, I have so many shrine buffs on me. I think the strongest monster in the pack when it comes to Abyss is going to be the Abyssal Spires when you're using the Abyss All Flames. So, they're what you want to have rarity on anyways, because then they're going to drop a Stygian Vise more likely. Suncaller. Bye. Cross down. Vicious. No, nope, I don't need anything. Oh, shoot. Here's the safe house. Research one. Okay. That's sad. We won't get to go. Because they're, they've retreated. Since they know that I know where they are. I gotta say, while I do love the Headhunter because it's really fun, I appreciate not just every once in a while getting ambush and therefore just teleporting randomly around. Really hard to keep myself safe 
but I'm teleporting randomly. For all, a lot of this game is positioning. Oh, synthetic theory. Rock should I? Okay, map location or oh, divination cards are worth it. Chance of divination cards that drop jewelry, or chance of divination cards dropping that reward jewelry, I should say. Hopefully I get more XP this time now that I haven't and won't die. I have to remember I have access to both my Vol Grace and my Vol Rejuvenation Totem. They're both very valuable. Fall Grace while I'm jumping into a pile of shit here. Sounds so much worse than it needed to sound. Jumping into the pile of enemies to murder them. Okay, we have a section over here we haven't touched. And we have Harvest. Why did I unblock Harvest? Oh, I unblocked Harvest because then we can get Harvest Scarabs, and Harvest Scarabs are one of the more valuable types of Scarabs. Okay, Harvest Scarabs. Okay, I don't want to do the Harvest, but I'm going to check for a Legendary Seed. Bears. Bears. Okay, now we can do the safe house. Safe house. Okay, Verici will give us the next 48%. And then we just have to do something random. Random, no star, safe out. Just need to focus on getting as many things into that safe house, or as much information about the safe house as possible. Doesn't matter about ranking stuff, should I? Especially if it's like fortification or transportation. Most of the stuff that you get from that. But at least what I know of. Eighty got about three percent for the last map, and this is boosted XP. So, hopefully, I get some from this.
Darren and Monster level 83 or tier 60. This will be the best XP we'll be able to get from this place, is what we get this time, so. Unless we get lucky and get a strong box. I think it's the only, really, the only variable these places. Remind reminds me of something. And not just Hades, which it is the game it's from. <laughs> reminds me of the feeling of playing another game to think of. I'm trying to wonder if it was WoW. Though I haven't played WoW. Since... I haven't played WoW since grade 10. Decade and a half ago or something now? This feels like some of the path music. I should listen to more. I think it reminds me of Guild Wars. Oh, yes, this is the exact Harvest Scarab I was hoping to get from Bree. Harvest Scarab of the Cornucopia is worth 40c. Yep. Everything might have changed. The one thing that doesn't is that Richie stays in racer. Okay, so we need to do probably one more map. Bring out our lovely Katarina. Park. Put my park stuff. Uh, next map. Okay, so we got about 2% from that. Base. Base with the thing. Safe house. Dropped his chisel.
I'm gonna put all damage can freeze up on the high density ones because I have I have complete and total freeze resistance, so I'm not actually in any danger doing that. I can make the majority of creatures rats, and they can drop orbs of an. I think are basically on par with Chaos Orb. Nah, they're half the Chaos. Oh god. Oh. Stop popping up. Almost like my macro is freaking out. Okay. Start my POE. Waking to POE trade. I want to build the price check things. Okay. Working again. 18 more percent. We can do this. A lot of orbs I'm making. Oh, that's a lot of explosions. Hello, Corral and Rin. Bye, Corral and Rin. to pick up. Okay, Ren, you could enter Ren. Bro. Have a relate. This is God of the Dead. One of my favorites from the Haiti soundtrack. Okay. Timeless monolith. No! Ghost, get away from them. Absolutely not having a possessed... Timeless Warrior, thank you very much! I sit in the totem. That doesn't last very long. Activate Ball Grace. In here. Gotta be careful, because a lot of these abilities are magic. Means I have less resistance. Axe? No problem. Magic? That is a problem. I mean, I have almost 100% spell suppression, but I mean, that only takes out 53% of the damage. It doesn't... I still take damage from everything I that hits me. So, Vol Grace helps a lot with that. Because it gives you Spell Dodge, I believe. Which does just straight up avoid. And Spell Dodge and Spell Suppression work separately. Wait, Suppress Spell Damage dealt to you is unlucky? Oh. Oh, they changed what the buff does. Probably, probably a while, for all I know.
So, suppress spell damage being unlucky means that it will roll the damage I take twice, and it will take the worse, like, the lower number. For my benefit. Location. Die, it will be now. Oh no. Oh no. Don't you dare petrify me. Who was that? Okay, which one of you fucks petrified me? It's you, Haku! Okay, well, you're going to time out now. I'll get 36 from that, which is enough to finish. Nope, that's transportation. I need 40 more points. Get a fortification. Get a fortification. Do a bit of extra XP. Okay, so that'll bring up to about 76 after the next set of turns. Ideal. Quick ball of shit I left. But I'm not buffed up. I want to use my XP buff from my grinds as much as possible. I want to find the healthy balance of not killing things so that I can only kill things when I have the buff and also not getting viciously murdered. <laughs> okay. Try buff. That's a 90% XP increase. Ah, there's the boss. Alright, grave keeper spoon. Hello, X X T C D H. Oh wow, that's a lot harder to read while playing than I thought it would be. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Oh, just X T C. Hello, just X T C. Oh my gosh, orbs of unmaking everywhere. <laughs> Oh, that must be a Divine Shrine. Thing based on the fact that nothing's dying. No? No. That then. <laughs> oh, it is a Divine Shrine. There was just two shrines on top of each other. Oh, I was confused. Okay, so I'm immune for another 40 seconds. Good to hear. Well, thank you for joining our stream, and hopefully you enjoy. I am playing Path of Exile. We are doing some Tier 16 maps. And trying to... Uh... Level up to max, I am 85% of the way to level 98 of 100. And if I die, I lose 10% of my XP. And it takes about 20 minutes to get... No. It takes about 40 minutes to get that amount of XP, so... Dying at all is really punishing. Okay. Well, in that case, I am spamming uh, uh, Domination Scarabs. I'm spamming Domination Scarabs with the XP boost 
on T16s using a Domination and Strongbox Heavy Atlas Passive 3 thing, as well as um, a hefty helping of June for XP making and Nico for Active Energy. I used a 5 way to get to 75% uh, or 70% XP, and I'm trying to preserve that XP so that my buff, so that my big amount of XP that I got from it is not in vain. I forgot about the gull. I mean, truth be told, I don't think many people think of the gull very often anyways. <laughs> uh, there's also a uh, blunder bore uh, to give you the lesser and greater mass of shrine buff, which fun. I don't know if that has any shrine boost on it. I don't really have any shrine effect boost, I just have direct. I am out of stuff. Pretty good. Tunes beyond delirium shrines. That's fair. We're at least 30 or something on makings. From that. that was really nice. I try not to do Delirium because, for some reason, despite throwing an extremely expensive computer at it, the, uh, this, this game just cannot handle Delirium on my computer. Thank you so much for watching, uh, watching and following XTC. I really appreciate it. That... Oh my gosh. Actually, that makes you my 50th, fo 50th follower. That means that I am now eligible to become a affiliate soon. I just need to reach the last condition, last condition, which is average viewership. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I've tried. I'm on uh, DirectX 12. I've tried DX11. I've tried Vulkan. It it just sucks no matter what you do. <laughs> I feel like DX12 is where I'm getting the best the best stuff, so Wait, why am I going back in here? This is done. Okay. Ooh, this is really good. Uh, hmm. Do you have any boosted XP? If I don't, it might actually be worth it for me to go and buy. I'm going to go try to buy a power. Ah, uh, the untainted one. Yeah. Um, I'm not against helping you with that, but it might be kind of hard for you to send me a picture. Uh, post it in the uh, community general chat in uh, our Discord. I'll take a look at it then. That'll be the most effective way, seeing as you can't send. Oh, or you can do that. Oh boy. Why? Why? 
You have a buff from both Exarch and from You have you have two Okay, I'm confused. Oh. Oh wow, you made something very interesting. Yes, yeah, so you have an eater and no, that's a corruption buff. Aw. Reverse the crafting process on this. Do you mean how you would craft it or or to like how to unsplit it or something? you get item level 2 slink boots? How would I make- oh god. Uh... Question. You could add a corrupt and- First of all, did you gravecraft with it? Start with that. Okay, well that- yeah, that changes a lot then. Um, I'm going to guess that you put both an X-Arch and an Eater implicit on the base boot. You used a triple ink, a, tri a triple uh, resonator with the corrupt implicit, uh, speed, uh, speed, uh, whatever it's called, fossil and the... Abyssal Fossil. Then used Tainted Blacksmith, or Tainted uh, Armor Scraps to get to 30%. Something like that. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea how you could get level 2 slink boots. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me. You're right, that is a veiled mod. Oh. Well, you can you can still unveil things that have been corrupted. Well, if you go to a specific area to get an item level 2, you'd have to... I think you would have to do it in the initial area. Yeah, I have no idea of that. How would I put a Veiled Mod and Roll of Fossil? Um... Well, I mean... Can't you just... Uh, don't the Veiled Orbs just replace one... Uh, one modifier? So you could fossil it and then veil it? I forget how the veiled orbs work the now. Yeah, I don't really know where you got Oh, hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, there's actually I I see the, I see a clue. So you have an un, of the underground, which means that this came from Delve. Because as far as I know, there's no way to craft of the underground uh, ex, uh modifiers onto anything. No. Yeah, I have no fucking clue how you would craft that. Sure, how did you how did you craft this bizarre item? <laughs> I feel like you used Einhardt at some point.
Crushing a second account to Act 4. Wait, do... Does the item level of gear depend on your level? At Ziri Boots, you mean the, uh, the ones with spell dodge on them? Oh. And then turn those in. Okay. But if you corrupt that and you quote-unquote brick it, that would only turn it into a... rare. Or that would only turn into a rare. How do you get to a magic? Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. So five rares of the same type? Oh, I assume that the item level two is because of the abyssal socket. Am I, am I on the right track? Uh, okay. I'm not really... Okay, you lost me, but... Okay, limits the ball implicits. Wait, item level limits corruption implicits? Oh my gosh, okay, this is a level of crafting that I have no knowledge of. I don't, I don't metacraft, so this is... Ooh. But just any movement speed? I would have thought that tier 1 movement speed would be prohibited by something. Or I guess if it's a Veiled mod, then maybe not? I guess failed mods would only have one tier. Huh. Are you perhaps you like is the reason why these you wanted these as magic perhaps so you could use the um what's what's it called like unearned potential or something the one that gives you damage boosts based on how many magic items you have equipped I have no idea what's going on then <laughs> Oh, with, uh, with imprinting? Oh... Oh, the special one of his special crafts. Okay.
I'm multitasking a bit here because while I find this conversation interesting, I'm sure a lot of people won't. So I'm going to get what I'm looking for and then get into a map so we can keep talking there. That's fair. Is the movement speed really worth that, though? What was your end game with this? Fair. Wow. Oh, I just realized that the monster level of what I'm buying is not good. That is... I'll buy it just because... Late, but... Not what... Ending. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm just gonna... That is pretty high movement speed, though. I've seen... I've seen, high, like, very high before, but... I mean, that is still ridiculous. What do you do? Just teleport? Beast. Uh, sure. Yeah, that works. How many do you have? I appreciate the fairly steep... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't really have a hideout meant for running around in. <laughs> Wow, you're fast. <laughs> Is that buff that's popping a mortal call? Oh yeah, it's definitely a mortal call. That's pretty awesome. I also appreciate your help with the uh, embers. Okay. For the sake of uh, those watching, though, I need to get back to mapping. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it, as well as following and all that.
Thank you. Oops, don't oh. Okay, we are going to run this. Hey, let's see what we get out of this map. So we're at 85% XP now. Also, we're getting chaos orbs on kill with the frogs. I'd love to speed up the process any way I can for leveling. The mess trying to actually level up here, and like I'm terrified that I'm going to die. For how hard it is to level. Thought those were more frogs. Oh yeah, I'm already seeing already seeing an effect of having the devourers. Yeah, that arm's moving quickly. I need to push fortification and transportation. I mean, I guess I could just do intervention instead, but... Scarabs, Legion Scarabs, Katarvi Scarabs, Influence. Technically, that would mean that Elrion is the most valuable. And... Uh... Are up it. Okay. Onwards. Oh. The boss here? Yeah, the boss is here. Oh, synthesized map! Ultra distant memory. Big buff. I'm starting to like Vol Rejuvenation Totem a lot. That'll be enough. Okay. Our next one will probably be Fortification, then.
is that over there? Emily's? Frogs! Corpses. I feel like maybe maybe just because it's only seven percent, but it feels like I'm getting less chaos orbs than I expected. Oh, well, that's gonna help. The big boosty shrines. I forget what those shrines are called. I'm trying to think of it. Like, just... It's not coming to me. I give extra... I'm trying to rush a little bit before I run out of my shrine buff. As much XP as I can. Oh, well, that was a bit of a... A bit late for a uh, fall totem, but... Oh, shoot. I should have kicked Leo out of... Uh, out of research. Darn it. That was... That's unfortunate. I want Verici as the head of research. So we can get as many uh, harvest scarabs as we possibly can. Ember of Gore. Getting tainted items. Tainted current. I got ex exotic coinage from our incubator. Ooh, 89%. That's pretty good. Got at least 4% from that. Okay. 11% left. Getting close. <laughs> I won't be able to use my scarabs on it, but I will run the uh, Altered Distant Memory for the increased XP game. I think I can put all these... No, I don't have space. Anything else? No. Uh, yes, there's one more. All right, we'll have to take off. Arabs, unfortunately. Okay, what did we get? Increased rare, rare, number of rare monsters and beyond. Okay, those are both good. 
Frenzy charge on hit, physical damage reduction, perfect. Okay, that's great. That is a wonderful mix for this character. Frenzy charges suck, but whatever. One, one actually negative modifier isn't a big deal. We're at 89%. Probably won't. I don't know if this will be as good of XP, despite the uh, increased XP. And let's see, I think it's going to because it is technically too low. Below what we've been. Oh, divine orb! Nice. Those. Oh, wait. Hey. Can. Oh, there's like nothing. Basically nothing here. I, I want to stop using like as often as I do. Frustrating habit. PCP. Jump Fighters are basically as good as Chaos Orbs. I can't go that way. Deuce Curse Effect, but not Curse of Me. I can still use my curse. Oh, I checked my uh, screenshot folder after last stream. Uh, once, uh, well, while we were using the, um, uh, I, I rebound my health, my health potion key, so that now instead of using just my life flask, it uses my life flask and takes a screenshot to like try to get some action shots, and it actually. Actually, could work it pretty well. I'm getting some really interesting action shots, and some are kind of just a mess, but some of them are actually pretty good. I mean, that's the same with all with all quote unquote photography. Most of your your shots will suck, and then a few good ones will actually be worth paying attention. It's going to build me up like a really big. Backlog of action shots to use for thumbnail, so I'm pretty excited for that. Thumbnails being the little image that you see on a YouTube video. Review it. I know not everyone knows that terminology. Arrows. Ooh, lots of explosion. And in the scary doorway. Two. I should. I've been wondering if I should swap one of my flasks out for a granite flask. Because I can still. I can still use a percent evasion rating on, on my flasks. But I tend to be in a lot of danger when it comes to physical damage. Mainly physical spells, since. 
uh, physical attacks and projectiles, I can evade. So maybe it's more important to just make sure that my spell suppression speed is case. It is. I mean, I have an increased effect, quartz flask, among other things. Okay, and that is that minus the boss. We're up to 91%, almost 92. We got about 2% from that map, which is totally worth it. Even if we die, we'll just have a net neutral. Well, net neutral plus a divine orb, so bad. Brace, and done. <laughs> <laughs> the synthesized map boss dropped me a synthesized map. Awesome. Just keeping it going. Oh! Oh, he didn't drop me a synthesized map. He drew dropped me a Cortex, specifically. Well, that's 55C. It's pretty good. If I was less afraid of the Cortex boss, I would consider running that. Or, like, XP, but I'm... Too afraid of the Cortex boss to risk my XP on that. Okay. So I have another enlightened gem for us to gamble. And we are absolutely going to do that. However, first, we are going to take a short break. About five or so minutes. So it's a good chance. Get up, stretch, so on. Get a snack. And we will resume in five to ten minutes, and we will do the enlightened gamble then. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in a moment. And welcome back, everyone. It is now time that we're back to do our enlightened gamble. Hope you all had a chance to use the washroom axe and stuff. Hopefully not actively while using the washroom. Be a weird bathroom slash kitchen situation. Okay, so, Spell Orb, we are going to see whether we will get a level 4 Enlighten worth 13 div, or we will get a three level 3 Enlightened, which is worth 29c when corrupted. Currently, it's 2 div. Let us see what... We get fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, there goes like 270C. <laughs> Turn it. Well, back into its slot. I'll have to get some more for next stream so we can work on that. Okay. We don't have anything yet. We're fuck. Okay, so we need to do another map first. Or we can do our last safe house thing at Arena. Okay. Castle Ruins is a good pick. Should do two maps, probably. 
Well, we'll do one now, which will give us enough for the safe house. We'll do the safe house, then we'll do another one. Get Katarina. Nation open. Ooh, quant. I like quant. Aren't really worth anything. Okay, this should go. Well. These are both normal. So I'll swap. They're all normal. We'll decrease. We'll decrease the power of the. Oh, and this it has basically no effect on anything. Okay, whatever. What do I want to have good quant on? Probably a tattoo. Good to have those ones. It's the pack leaders that drop the tattoos. Oh. Okay, I guess it's just the omen one right now. Okay, well, I'll try the uh, catalyst ones. Maybe we'll get something decent there. Okay. They're very likely to get June. 70% chance for her or something. Ooh, fertile catalyst, nice. Be worth a lot. Want. Good. Go away. You talk to Groovy. Okay. Hello, Vegan and Coral. Oh shit! My Necropolis is. Man, I, I swear I get to go like a day between emptying my Necropolis. <laughs> Which is probably made worse by the fact that a lot of the time when I'm picking up coffins, it's not because I want them. It's because that I want to get the Gravekeeper's boon from Aramir picking them up. Speaking of which. That. Don't need any minus modifier ones. Fine. I can't see through the smoke here because I can't be blinded. What's going on with that? I guess maybe it's not a blind, it's just smoke surrounds you. Okay. I guess that's just a thing on its own. Sure, we'll give them with the boss ignite effect. Thing that we can't be ignited. Why do I even pick up contracts? I'm not doing heist at all this league. I just reflexively picked them up. I'm like, well, that contract could be worth something. Well, yeah, except for no contract is worth anything if you don't actually ever run them. 
All contracts are worth nothing if you don't run them. There we go. Fun trying. Yeah. 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 Seventeen seconds. Uh. I want to get screwed up by something that's possessed. Alright, we need something a little bit less depressing. Field of Souls. Try this. I think I know this one. Oh, right, I can't just collect them. I have to... I have to pick them up. Oh, those are just hanging lights. They're not... Yes, I'm still attacking them anyway. Okay. Boss... And rush into the laboratory. Have phasing so I can go real fast. Okay. Oh. Wrong way. Fortunately, going real fast the wrong way is worse than standing still. Okay. Hey. will protect me. Hey, Leo. Get the fuck out of that spot. Richie's spot. Sure. Take some nice, juicy stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to do fortification still, because I want to keep Farichi there. Then I'll run the safe house. Uh, Farichi's safe house after I have killed Katarina. Or I can run it before just for the sake of XP. But I don't I want to be able to get a tier 4 Farichi via Katarina. Because that means that I will likely get a lot of harvest scares if I do. Oh, we have a breach stone getting report now. That could be useful. Actually, the attack mod ones are generally used when buys them. Build. Okay, let's do this. Into the safe house. The last safe house before Katarina. Let's 
see if mommy's got a veiled orb for us. That'd be really nice right about now. <laughs> Though, based on the, the statistically, the based on the amount of veiled orbs that I've gotten in this league, I absolutely should not get another one from her. Not gonna stop me from trying. I mean, theoretically, every single time I fight her in a league, I could still get a Veiled Orb. It's just unlikely that that would happen. I think what random chances you can get five 1% chances in a row. You're not likely to, but you can. You can also lose multiple 95% chances. Because that's just the way that variability works. Because when you look at it in a small data set, such as a few separate things, the actual percentage really doesn't matter all that much. Big blade, Hillock. There we go. Yeah, and then I'll finish off the mastermind. Oh, those are the Brian Rot. Is it a while? Brian Rot Whalers. Yeah, these aren't worth anything. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, they rolled almost max projectile. That actually might be somewhat valuable. I'll, I'll put them up. Oh. Uh, well, the... Whatever the hell this thing is called did get changed. This... Wait, no, it's not Skullhead. It's the other one, that, the other, other minion one. Wraith, Wraith Lord or something? Back to the cat on a quiver with the spider on chest piece. Or something. Aspect of the cat on a quiver is pretty good. Okay. I think technically better. Drop rare currency shards and drop a single type of currency. Yeah, it was only, it's only one C, but... I'll check those later. Okay, with that, we need one... Wait. Oh, that's just the fact that there's nothing. Okay. We need one more map to trigger Katarina. Okay, so I'm going to put some Untainted Beasts in a high attack density slot for rare. See if I can get extra XP. Spawn Orange and Spirit on death. Cause... No, wait, no. Because I want them to have rare. Okay. Uh, what doesn't matter? I 
I'll put the more dangerous mod, or not dangerous, but like the worst modifiers up, because it gives me a chance to. Uh, it gives me a better chance of getting embers. Fast bears. Okay, we're ninety six percent. Please don't let me die. Very, very sad. Is it the bears that are? Yeah, it's the bears that give. Oh, we got another Frisia. Frisia and Royal Family. That's brittle. Or brittle nests. Very good. Ours corrupted you. Right. Fragility. Yeah. They're extremely common. Okay, well, I have no extra buffs. I'm gonna run. Boss. I want the X, the prime buffs for XP for other stuff mainly. There we go. Ooh, want trying. Well, okay, that won't matter for all the bears following. Because they don't drop items. Ooh, acceleration. I can be very speedy while I stand in one place. Throwing mines. Notice I'm like playing it a bit more fast and loose than I should. Be a bit more careful. Careful. I'm very close to my goal. The last thing I want is to die. That would be tragic at this point. 97% now. Okay, fine buff. Oop. Okay, let's... Maybe I shouldn't be diving in there for a buff. Maybe that's a dangerous idea. It's a very dangerous idea. I should be way more careful. I got Gravekeeper's Boon. Safe. Be safe from all the bears. Bears eat cats. I don't I don't know if that's a cat. Hope not. I like being per I have my perfectly uneaten state. Oh. That. Oh, this is very fitting music we're doing. With the abyss. Chasing an abyss around. Get that abyssy. Yeah, 
getting real close to leveling. Aunt would have been better, but I don't want to take risks by lowering my Not the time to take risks when I'm at 99% XP. I just realized I didn't see Katarina, or not Katarina, I didn't see any June anything in the map. That's a problem. Oh, I guess that'll be my next map. Hello, Hab... 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 Habzar? Habzar? Habzar. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hello. One of your weapons into a rat's nest helm. Are rat's nest valuable? Uh, nope. I am going to... Hmm. I am going to let the board tick one more time for Hillock, get Katarina, and then do something else. I'm sorry to hear things aren't going well, but I hope they get back. How do we have, like, tropical music now? <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Corrupt for higher than 20%. Fuck. What? 99%, so... I gotta be able to. Hmm, I Okay. How do I run? Um, I need something that that June will spawn in. It has to be something June. The map I don't like. Uh, rain is okay. I don't like me. Okay. So I'm going to abandon the map like as soon as I level up. Alright, that should be fine. Wait. Fire tier. I don't know if I want to boost the modifier tier. Eh, that's fine. Okay, time to not... Ideally not die. I don't like the burn everywhere. Good. So close to level. <laughs> so close to leveling. My bar is basically entirely full of this. On. Level me up. So I can stop freaking out about my level. Okay, well here's my one encounter that I need to do. Now. Location. Yep. I don't care, I'll kill off Aku. Fine. Okay, and that is... Ah. Uh... Doing anything? No. ACU. Should I just level up 
going to Katarina. Maybe I should do that. I mean, it is a 200% increased XP area anyway. There's no way that I'm not going to get at half a percent X or XP away to Katarina. Also, I'm going to get Omen of the Soul Devourer, so I'll have Soul Eater when fighting Katarina. Okay, let's do this. Katarina time. Hopefully 98. Can't wait. And that's face down. Fake Katarina dead. Oh my gosh. Ninety eight. Oh, that's a good feeling. Having to worry. Yeah, I can die as, if I, as much as I want now. I mean, ideally not at all, but like, if I die, I die, I don't care. Now I can do scary things. I don't care if I survive or not. Okay, down. Got Mary first. Stands there just long enough for me to damage her. Okay. Bye. Oh wait, no, the wave turns off because I captured the point. Okay, and next. I guess Soul Eater only matters so much when you can't really maintain it. I can't really maintain it. Oh, don't teleport me backwards into the flames. That was bullshit. Thankfully, it didn't actually kill me or anything. Oh. Oh god, we don't want these. Okay, I'm trying to avoid... Uh... Killing all of the creatures that I could. Creatures left! Oh, that, that scared me. Okay. Get to this side. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad that that did not harm me. Badly as it definitely could have. Okay, and last is it. Okay, and now she's the last capture point, and 
I'm not sure. Bye. Veildorb? 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 Yes, Veildorb! <laughs> oh, I'm disgustingly lucky. Oh my gosh, and they went up to 15 div 2. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll be getting my level 21 Val Grace then, very soon. Oh man, I am, I am disgustingly lucky. Hi, Pyro. That, you realize it's a 30% chance, right? And I've gotten it at least 70% of the time. Okay. Punishment. Selling the Aspel channeling. Oh, fuck. Fair. Yeah, and the thirty percent chance is only with tier sixteen, or actually, I think it's tier fourteen and above. So, it, item level eighty one or monster level eighty one and above. It's below, it's high, lower than that, below that. Level and percent socket and spam. Take like that. Damn it, I just rolled past the two green I wanted. This is why you need to be patient. I mean, I only need two green right now. Like, it's probably going to change at some point. Oh, there it is. I want to see those. Okay, I hope you had a good league. Everyone's league has to end at some point. I got a little bit left in me, but I understand. Oh, wait, I want to just... There. Ooh, that sounds like you're earning a lot of money, then. I would love to be able to buy a mirror. Do this last. I could get a tiny bit more spell suppression in.
lot of options. That's fair. I'm just going to take some extra life for now. Or with the le rest later. Extra life won't hurt. Okay. First things first. We are going to uh, do our Maven's Invitation. Oh, not that. Sure. Carry on that. Whoa! Thank you, Death Store. You saved me. Okay. Got your ghoul out of the way. Sirens down. Ah, okay, sun color. Sun color down. Ryan King's here. Ryan King and Mervile. That's a interesting pair. Oh, and Wode. No. Okay. Got him. Nice. Phoenix, Crescent Splinter. West. Any more of those? Almost have enough to do a Maven. Oh no. Well, good luck. Well, I'm doing my safe house like you wanted now. I'll get uh, 10 intelligence per turn, up to 30 total for doing this, because they're an unknown. That plus two three, rank 3 leaders will be enough to get another Katarina. So it's actually kind of useful to, to come into... Uh, uh, a blank board right after Katarina with an extra safe house ready. Just make sure you don't try to do Katarina after he's risen a bunch of people because they'll just get let out. Bad. Okay. Hey, this is going well. Oh, I can't believe I'm 98 now. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to use a portion, if not all, of that Veiled Orb worth of sales to find myself some more. Five way runs to level up more. Probably only need five or six more sets total. 
like a hundred. So, not far away. That's the main thing my build needs right now. Just skill points. And the health bonus is great leveling up. You get actually like little bonuses every time you level, and they actually start to add up at the really high levels. And you're already min maxing your stuff. Collective card. Find it quite useful. Honestly, I wish it was a little bit, uh... The... I, I wish there was a bit more power behind the shrine leveling. I certainly have been using it, though. I mean, that's fair. Honestly, I haven't found it to be too expensive. At least the way I'm doing it. So I'm only getting, like, 4% amp, so... I guess if I replaced everything with frogs, that would technically make it... safer. And give me more XP. Or just, like, the... uh the wild beasts of their cult. Uh, I will say, though, I don't know what, what you're using to make your shrine leveling efficient, but I seriously doubt it's better than five ways, speed-wise. I found absolutely nothing that can match five-way speed. Pretty nice. Okay. Giving. A little bit lost now. My my big goal has been accomplished. I guess we could do our cortex now. Yeah, let's do our cortex. I haven't done a cortex yet this league. And they're pretty cheap, so don't have to worry too much. I mean, there were like five div last league, so them only being fifty league, pretty minor by comparison. Okay, they're hitting hard. What? I want to see what modifiers are on this, but I have to make sure that I don't die in the process. Okay, well, obviously, there's Dell fossils dropping. Okay, monsters have Onslaught, Power Charge on hit, and crit. And more rare monsters. That's scary. That sounds pretty effective. Isn't Nimmies like... Nimmies? I don't know how to pronounce it. Aren't, aren't those like 200 div on their own, though? Something 
scene. I have to be really careful with how much crit there is on the map. Okay, yeah, so pretty obscene. I don't actually, I don't remember what it does, actually. I guess maybe because it's always been so prohibitively expensive, I've never bothered with it. Maybe I'll start shooting for stuff like that now that I've been able to use a mage blood. That's fair. I'm actually starting to get notable XP, surprisingly. Really expect that off of the map. I guess it is, like, 100% increased XP gain on tier 6. Not bad. Projectiles return to you, projectiles are fired and ran. Yeah, I could see why that would be valuable. I don't know why that's 90 div valuable. Be good. Looks like a fun combo. Oh my gosh, there's a sad pug. Why are you sad, baby? I know you're taken care of. I've made sure of it. Is it late and you're getting cranky? <laughs> My gosh. I'm coming. Let me send her out to her bed. Be more comfortable out there. Okay, she settled down on. Yeah, I mean, I can see how that would double your DPS. Maybe I'm underestimating it. Yeah, if you're, if that's an important gem for your build, then being able to have it without using a gem socket is pretty good. That in when you put it in that sense, yeah, I definitely see that could be worth it. Very chill cortex. 
haven't fought the Cortex boss in a little bit, though. And certainly not yet with his characters. I'm excited. That. No. No scary projectiles. I mean, if you're already max level and there's nothing else in the map that you need to, to worry about having the portals for, it doesn't really matter if you die. There's more important stuff to do than or more valuable stuff to do, just do the valuable stuff first. And if you die at the end, who cares? Yeah. Up. Yeah, follow me. Okay. Oh, okay. That's the entire map. About two and a half percent. Pretty good for no buffs on it of any sort. A depth fossil. Good. Shuttering. Oh, shuttering is worth more. I corroded, actually. That's. So no, not this late. <laughs> Etheric. Nope, not okay. okay, let's do this. Cortex boss. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Couldn't see me on the other side of his contraption. Yeah, no. Bit scary with the Maven here, but that's fine. It... What just happened? Okay. Either it has the ability to teleport me, or I just lagged to death. Because I was in a safe spot, and then I was in a spot that was not safe. Ugh. That's lag? I'm annoyed. If it's, if it's my fault, it's fine. If I die because of my own problems, that's fine. But if I die because of lag, I'm annoyed. Whoa, having that puddle on top of the portal is not nice. Oh, you keep moving. These things have slowing projectiles or something. I don't know what they're doing, but it sucks. Seem to be able to pretty effectively outpower Cortex at the moment. Whoa! 
Wanting a pool under my feet is not cool. That's not a cool pool. Whoa, okay. That moved me. I don't think that was lag. I think that was like a genuine mechanic that teleported last time. Okay, so I didn't lag to death. It was just a mechanic. That's fine. Don't mind dying to the boss because of a mechanic. That's fine. Ooh. Oh, we got a chance to deal double damage on the shield. Pretty good. Oh, no! Look at the movement speed, attack, and cast speed. They all basically min-rolled. Oh, gosh. That is really bad. That is really bad. Just the, the double damage and blood. Don't think it's very much. Yeah, that can have up to 20% attack speed, 20% cast speed, 20% movement speed. Yeah, that is atrocious set of rolls. Yeah, they definitely are, but... Don't think... Okay, if I just... Let's say I had... 15. Each of the attacking... And... 15 movements. Oh, okay, that doesn't exist. I'm trying to see what this would be worth if it was divine. One from almost a month ago that's that's above 10% attack cast and movement speed, as well as has the synthesis implicit, as well as has at least two. Uh, plus two to level of lightning gem. It might be worth divining, but I don't know. Take the rich wall. Well, it's bravery, savagery. Get with me. I don't know what the, I have no idea what this could possibly be worth. I guess I'll put it in the 9C tab. If someone wants to buy it and divine it, they can do that. Totally up to them. Okay. That should be there. Next everything. Uh, my next goal with this build is to combine the Volgrace and the Grace that I have with a level 21 Volgrace. I'm going to put something here. I don't know what. Maybe a level 20 Vol Haste. Or a Vol Discipline. Like that. Well, we'll see what I pick there. I can also put multiple totem support. It'd be such a bad plan. Or maybe duration. I'm not duration before. That'd be worth. I don't know. It's an idea. That's my main thing I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be pushing to 100 and I'm probably going to be replacing this helmet. Because it's not. I've also been considering swapping my boots out for Tailwind boots to give me extra action speed, because the action speed will give me extra I don't really have to worry about losing resistances, because... yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, I actually swapped my ring out. So this is the ring that I was using before. It's pretty damn good ring. 
Uh, but now I have enough Chaos Res, so I moved to using this. So now I got a lot of extra life from that. A lot of extra strength, flat fire damage, so on. I also have minus mana cost, so it doesn't actually take very much to use Pyro Class Mines now. Oh, and as someone mentioned last time, I think it was the streamer C4, uh, I swapped out my... Because I was able to get that mod, that, that non-channeling skills mana cost mod, I swapped out my inspiration for Concentrate Effect. So I'm pretty happy with that. Damage increases have been nice. And really, it doesn't look like the AoE has decreased much. Like, it's still pretty crazy. If anything, concentrating it seems like a benefit. Because it just keeps everything in a like, closer, tighter area, which means it'll probably do more damage. Okay. To be honest, I'm kind of out of things to do now that we've run through all of, all of our plans. We did safe houses. We fought Katarina. We even did a Cortex. We hit level 98. It's amazing. Makes me very, very happy. I think it's safe to say that we can probably call it a day. It was a pretty awesome stream, and I appreciate everyone who's here and has been here. You're all great. Thank you so much. As well as thank you to XTC followed today. I appreciate you very much. As you were, especially because you're my 50th follower, means that you'll be one of the biggest helps to, not one of the biggest helps, but like you'll be helping me get to affiliate. Okay. So this will be coming up tomorrow. This VOD will be popping up tomorrow on at Black Cat Streams on YouTube putting out a video as well tomorrow on at black cat studio which is our highlights channel as well as another one on friday i'm pretty excited for tomorrow's video i think oh yes i'm pretty happy about tomorrow's video so on at black cat studio so that'll be exciting uh we stream at uh, 2 p.m est 5 p.m est every tuesday and thursday and i guess i'll be seeing you all again soon on thursday Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. Get a good chance to get up and stretch and stuff after this. And I will be seeing you soon in the Atlas.